this podcast is rated F for fucking great. Hey, fuck your business coach. Fuck your customers. They're not always right. And anyone who wears a suit to work can suck it. My name is Billy Jean, one man on a mission to offend the internet one truth bomb at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, geniuses around the world, I am... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, geniuses around the world. Oh, that's me on a PJ pitch. That sound effect, right? It was an airplane. It sounded horrible. John, give me like a... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's me on a private jet, motherfuckers. Now, listen, I'm going to just keep it 100. Everyone says the douchiest thing that you can do on the internet is show a picture of you in a private jet. But there's a thousand, I can, I can say this with a thousand percent certainty that I absolutely will be doing. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. And I want to just break something down, okay? I want to debunk the myth that rich people don't care about these things and, and what really is happening psychologically, okay? So, first things first, having, you know, uh, Kev, our driver, pick us up in the sprinter going with some of my closest friends on the planet, my guys that we changed the world together with. I'm having some fun taking a private jet to Viva Las Vegas to go have a blast, staying in a sick place, like all the experience, the shit that you dream of as a kid, the shit that you watch the movies and be like, oh my God, I want to do that. The experiences that 0.00001% of the world will ever have, we get to go on some regular shit like it's nothing. That's a fucking accomplishment. That's a milestone. That shit's exciting. That inspires Inspires me. That keeps me going. And when I keep going, I change more lives. And that's the ripple effect of success. But let me debunk something real quick. You never seen Warren Buffett talking about driving on the. Uh, he still has his Corolla and da 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 Because he's not trying to get bitches no more. He's old. The fuck you need to roll up in a Ferrari for at 99? He can't even get out the damn thing. Also, too, his circle of friends are also 99 or 89. They're not in the stage of their life where that shit's cool anymore. Therefore, they don't do it. It's not because they don't give a fuck about the cars or they think the message is dumb. It's because the people that they respect don't respect it, which is old ass motherfuckers. Does that make sense? It's not because they're so noble. It's not, not, they're not so noble or something like they just, their people don't care about it. Like, imagine Warren about to go get some hoes that are like 75. They're not like, hey, where's the Ferrari? Where's the Lambo? They're like, hey. They're like, you have like an aide? Like, someone to help you? Got a walker? Like, you got life support? What's the thing when you fall and automatically goes up? Like, they're trying to, you got, I mean, what are your grandchildren doing? Can we go to the recital? Like, a Lambo's not in the cards. That's why the fuck they don't do it. Because, uh, and also, too, it's not cool to flex something when all their rich friends also have the same thing. It's they're no longer a flex. Period. It's no longer a flex. Like, why do you have that? We all got one. It's not cool anymore. What makes this cool is unique. These niggas ain't noble. These niggas just have no point to do it. Damn. Now, having said that, I definitely, I think it's cool as fuck. You know, I mean, it is a, a pay it for a dream come true. And I'm very excited about it. And I just want to say, for anybody who has a materialistic vision right now, to, to do well, good on you. Good on you. Now, that should not be the only thing that gets you going. But if that's a part of the equation because you want to stunt, because you want to ball, because you want to get bitches, that's okay. Do you. Have fun. Having said that, I'm in a relationship. I'm happily in a relationship, et cetera. Very cool. It has nothing to do with bitches for me. Um, but if I did this seven years ago, eight years ago, whatever, go fucking, yeah, absolutely. Would have been 100% the sole reason. Love you. Peace. Announcement alerts. It's been a year. And with that said, we're going to introduce some sponsors, baby. Some sponsorships and some dope ads. And you know I'll make them entertaining as hell. But if you're interested in being a sponsor on our podcast, talking some partnerships, etc., reaching more peoples, then go ahead and email. Johnny, you can do it. Thanks, Billy. That's Johnny at AskBillyJean.com. J-O-H-N-N-Y at AskBillyJean.com. Reach out to me and let's get your product or services in front of our thousands of daily listeners. Love you guys. 
Peace. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I am coming to you with a new motherfucking episode. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Every weekday, you will have some Billie Jean in your life. So make sure you subscribe, leave a review, and just tell me, just send me some love, man. You know, they just make my day. Send me a damn review. I'll send you a podcast tomorrow. How about that, huh? Love you guys, man.